Let's now do the if direction, which means that we're going to assume that a and n are co-prime. Now, by the theorem we just proved a little while ago, that means that there is some integer combination equal to 1. Move n, y over to the other side. That's the same thing as 1 mod n. And now we see that, in fact, that x, which is guaranteed by the integer combination theorem, is precisely the multiplicative inverse of a. Now, based on all of this, we can define the notion of the group of units of the integers mod n. That is the set of all of the numbers that have a multiplicative inverse. And by what we just showed, that's actually just the same thing as all the numbers which are co-prime with n. So if anything is co-prime with n, it has an inverse, and then we form the group of all such elements. Of course, with the operation of multiplication. And more generally, if you have any operation that has an identity, we can just keep all of those elements that have inverses, and we form what is called the group of units.